Today's video was requested by Udoy Bose. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comment section below. Gorillas are the world's largest living primates and close relatives of humans with whom they share over 90% of their DNA. They're predominantly herbivorous and live in groups called troops or bands led by a dominant male. Gorillas are hominids with long muscular arms enabling them to move around by walking on their knuckles. They've broad chests and massive heads with flat noses and large nostrils. Gorillas have bony crests which are more pronounced in adult males, on top and back of their skulls, which anchor their powerful jaw muscles. Black fur covers the body except for the hands, feet, chest and face, which are bald. Adult males have a silvery saddle on their backs that gradually becomes white with age. This is why adult males are often referred to as silverbacks. The tallest silverback on record was six foot five, weighed 483 pounds with a six foot six chest and an eight foot 10 arm span. A silverback will fiercely defend its troop, even if it means fighting to the death. The sight of one pound in its chest is one of the most dominant displays in the animal kingdom. Aside from being extremely strong, gorillas are also considered highly intelligent. There's evidence of tool use and some have been taught sign language in captivity. They've rich emotional lives and develop strong family bonds. Gorillas can laugh, grieve, or think about the past and the future. It's even believed they have religious or spiritual feelings. Number five, Sigourney Weaver. Actress Sigourney Weaver befriended a huge male gorilla named Ziz in 1988 while making the Diane Fossey biopic Gorillas in the Mist. She had to befriend Ziz for protection from another silverback called Pablo, known for grabbing women by the hair and dragging them down the mountain. One day, Sigourney decided to take a break from filming and climb above the Rwanda gorilla habitat to watch her co-stars play. Ziz wasn't pleased by her presence. He got up and beat his chest, charged up the hill where Sigourney was and effortlessly knocked her down. She stayed down, frozen in fear, but at some point managed to crawl away to safety. There are two gorilla species, the eastern and western gorilla, and either four or five subspecies. There are some minor differences between them, but both are considered critically endangered because of hunting and loss of habitat. In the wild, gorillas are found in the tropical and subtropical forests of central sub-Saharan Africa. Mountain gorillas inhabit cloud forests on volcanic mountains in Uganda, Rwanda, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Lowland gorillas are usually more slender and agile than mountain gorillas and live at sea level in swamps, marshes, and dense forests. Eastern lowland gorillas, the largest of all gorilla subspecies, live near the border between Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo while Western lowland gorillas occupy Central West African countries. A troop of gorillas can have a territory of up to 16 square miles. Their diets vary according to where they live and mostly consist of fruit, leaves, seeds, tree bark or pulp, roots and occasionally insects and other small animals. The beds are called nests and they're predominantly ground dwelling, but they're also known to climb trees or swing from branches. To communicate, gorillas use 25 distinct vocalizations and a wide variety of facial expressions and body movements. Number 4. Sylvia Cressy A pregnant woman was rushed to a hospital in New Orleans in March 2017 after being attacked by a gorilla. Six-month pregnant Sylvia Cressy was visiting the Audubon Zoo. She saw people scattering suddenly so she also attempted to flee the area when she was unexpectedly hit in the head by a wooden block 
thrown by a large female gorilla named Praline. Sylvia fell on her stomach, losing consciousness. She was taken to two different hospitals, spending six hours while doctors ensured that Sylvia and her unborn baby were unharmed. Zoo officials later released a statement saying that the block of wood was actually an enrichment tool filled with honey and raisins for the three gorillas sharing the enclosure. To avoid anything similar happening in the future, they removed the wooden blocks. Cressy was left with a lump in the back of her neck, but no serious injuries. Despite their immense strength and fierce appearance, gorillas don't have a reputation of aggression towards us. Because they're not hunters, their diet is mainly vegetarian. Nevertheless, silverback leaders are known to engage in fights to the death, inflicting fatal wounds with their massive canines. Additionally, gorillas have the strength of several men, and its robust build means it can inflict a massive amount of damage. One blow can shatter bones and vital organs. A silverback can lift over 1,800 pounds of dead weight and throw with almost 1,000 pounds of force. Its grip can shatter bones. They're also fast sprinters, capable of reaching 25 miles per hour. If you're close, the chances of outrunning a gorilla are very slim. Perhaps the most dangerous weapon, though, are its large canines and remarkable bite force. The bite of a gorilla has been measured at 1,300 pounds per square inch, exceeding that of a lion or great white shark. Number 3. Christophe Courteau Wildlife photographer Christophe Courteau was attacked by a gorilla over 6 feet tall and weighing 420 pounds. Courteau was visiting the Kibitonda Gorilla Group in Volcanoes National Park, Rwanda in February 2015. He was taking pictures of the group when the alpha male named Akaravuro charged at him unexpectedly. Corto managed to capture the exact moment the gorilla clenched his fist before the attack. Akaravuro was apparently intoxicated from eating bamboo stems, which ferment in their stomachs, making them drunk and belligerent. Fortunately, after swinging at Corto, Akaravuro pushed him out the way to chase away another gorilla that seemed interested in one of his females. Corto was left with a scar on his forehead, but no serious injuries. Gorillas are fast sprinters, but not good long distance runners. If you're far away, running may put enough distance between you and a troop of gorillas. There's an entire sequence of ritualized threat display that's unique to gorillas and used to intimidate without physical confrontation. There are loud grunts and hoots, rising on two legs, throwing vegetation and chest beating at a rapid tempo. Recognizing this threat behavior can save your life. If you're close to the gorilla, don't run as it's likely to catch you. Take submissive action by crouching down and making yourself small. If it does charge you, lower yourself to the ground and go limp if it decides to examine you. There's a chance it will get bored and leave. Your behavior needs to indicate that you're not a threat. Never show your teeth, pound your chest in return, or make yourself look bigger, as this can provoke the gorilla to defend its territory. If none of this works, go for the eyes and try to inflict as much damage as quickly as possible. Any heavy blow that the gorilla lands on you has the potential of incapacitating you. Number 2. Boquito In May 2007, a woman who was a regular visitor to a gorilla's enclosure was violently attacked by the animal. Boquito was a male western gorilla living in Deergard Bledorp Zoo in Rotterdam. Four times a week while visiting, the woman would touch the glass separating them and smile at him while making eye contact. Zoo employees discourage her behavior, as gorillas may interpret smiling as an aggressive display, but the woman felt a special bond with Boquito and ignored advice. On May 18th, Boquito vaulted the water-filled ditch, separating his enclosure from the public, and grabbed the woman, 
he dragged her around, causing several fractures and inflicting more than a hundred bite wounds. Three more people were injured as Boquito ended up in a restaurant, causing panic. He was eventually sedated with a tranquilizer gun and taken back to his cage. Number 1. Harambe Harambe was a 17-year-old Western Lowland gorilla in captivity at the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. On May 28, 2016, a three-year-old boy climbed on a three-foot-tall fence and fell 15 feet into a moat inside the Gorilla World habitat, where there were three gorillas. Zoo employees immediately signaled for the animals to return inside. The two females did, but Harambe, a 440-pound male Western Lowland gorilla, climbed down into the moat. Becoming increasingly agitated by the screams of onlookers, he grabbed the boy and dragged him through the water. Harambe then carried him up a ladder out of the moat onto dry land. Still afraid for the child's life, the zoo's dangerous animal response team made the decision to shoot Harambe. They later stated that tranquilizers can take several minutes to work, possibly making him more agitated, thereby putting the child in imminent danger. Harambe was a beloved member of the zoo and was killed the day after his 17th birthday. According to firefighters, the boy was between the gorilla's legs when the shot was fired. The killing of Harambe echoed around the world, with social media rallying under the Justice for Harambe tag. Some even wanted charges brought against the boy's mother. Others blamed the zoo for not doing enough to keep people out of the enclosure. Animal rights groups were outraged by the killing of Harambe, an endangered species for what they referred to as other people's negligence. Humphrey had attacked him through a series of vicious bites. Moments later, the 1.2-ton bull dragged Ailes in the river and held him underwater until he drowned. Wildlife experts believe that the attack happened because Humphrey had reached the age when male hippos challenge each other over territorial dominance and that he had perceived Ailes as a threat. 